Tonight, we are remembering gospel star and Oakland native Edwin Hawkins. He died at his home in Pleasanton early this morning after a battle with cancer. He was 74. KPX 5's John Ramos on the man who brought gospel to contemporary audiences. It hit me kind of hard. Sitting in his Oakland recording studio, Bishop James Watkins is still trying to accept the fact that Edwin Hawkins is gone. We, we don't get used to death, we just get, we just get over it. Hawkins was a church musician in the Berkeley, Oakland area when in 1968 he helped write the song that would make him famous. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Out of the blue, Hawkins' song, Oh Happy Day, became an overnight worldwide hit. Its simple, uplifting sound and message were embraced by a nation reeling from the angst of the Vietnam War protests. You would hear that at funerals. You would hear all the choirs would sing it. Every little kids were going down the street and sing, Oh, happy day. Everybody sang the song. Oh, happy day. The song was even featured in a scene from the 1993 Whoopi Goldberg movie, Sister Act Two. And though it was actually co written by singer Betty Watkins, it was always the charismatic Hawkins who was credited with bringing gospel music to a rock and roll audience. He brought gospel together. The two worlds came together. They didn't collide, but they crossed over to each other. And though he died this morning after a prolonged illness, Edwin Hawkins' legacy is secure. He will always be remembered as a man who brought a happy day to a nation in crisis. In Oakland, John Ramos, KPIX 5. Mm, great song, wonderful voice too. All right, have a good night.